All right, y'all, I'm here with a very special guest. You want to introduce yourself, big guy? Hi, my name is Vicente. All right, and I am cutting your hair today, right? Yes. Yes, so do you like the haircut that I gave you? I know it was a week ago, but you like it? Yes. All right, so I'm going to explain what I'm doing. So first off, I'm going to debulk everything with my number three. Now, before this, he was trying to grow out a mullet. We both were, but then we kind of realized that it was too much and we got tired of it, so we, we decided to cut his off. And now we're just debulking with that number three. We're gonna give him a taper on the sides and back and then trim the top a little bit. I like my curls. You like your curls? Yeah. yeah, you didn't want me to cut your curls, but I kinda had to, right? Yeah. Yeah, but they still look okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're not that bad. I think this was a little too much, you know what I mean? It yeah, kinda okay. made your head look like a mushroom. It made you look like a Koopa Troopa. Yeah. <laughs> so right here, I'm just debulking with the number three, trying to make sure that everything is even because sometimes with a big guard, you can kind of go through and it won't actually feed all the hair. So this is me doing the back taper. I try to make my guidelines kind of spaced out because his hair is not easy to cut. He has pretty fine hair, but it also like all the hair lays flat to the skin. So it's not easy for the, the, the hair to feed through the teeth. So I, I went with uh, slightly bigger guidelines than I normally would just to make sure that I can achieve that transition that I'm looking for. Does this part hurt when your when your head is down like this? Um, yes, it does. What what does it hurt? Like, it it hurts the muscles in the back of my neck. Oh yeah, just from yeah. having your head down. Yeah. Does, is my hand too heavy when it's on your head like that? Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I'll try to stop doing that. But right here, we went with our our blade open blended that panel out, then the one open, blended that panel out, and since I debulked everything with a three, the last guard we're gonna use in the taper is the number two, and then we'll work our way back down the system. So you, I literally go, go up with the system and then come right back down, and that's pretty much how I get my fade done. A little bit of detail and work at the end, sometimes in between. I should be doing it at the end, but sometimes I do it in between, and there it is. So now this is the side taper, and we're gonna do the exact same step. So it's gonna be blade open, and then work from close all the way open to blend that panel out. The number one open, and then we'll close up the number one, and then we'll work our way down to the, to the half guard, and that should blend that panel out. Then we'll go to our number two, and then work down to the one and a half, the one open, the one closed, the half guard, and all the way down until the panel is fully blended. Now with this, like I said, his hair wants to just lay very flat to the head, so I had to definitely make sure I went over this a bunch of times. Another person on a different client, I might be able to get this taper done in half the time, but for him I had to, I had to spend a little bit of extra in order to get it blurry. You know what I mean when I say blurry? No. No, me, blurry means like it goes from light, like zero hair, like bald, mm -hmm. to the dark hair, but it like blurs together. You can't really see lines or anything like that. It's just one big blur. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part about getting a haircut? Um, that is a hard question. All right, well, let me know when you have the answer. <laughs> and right here, we're working on the other side. And I've been cutting your hair since what? You were like two years old? Yeah, I got my first haircut. But after I got my first haircut with you, yeah. when I was two. When you were two? Yeah. Yeah, and your mom brought me, brought you into the barbershop? Yeah. Did you like that first haircut? Yes. And I can barely remember. But we chopped all the curls off, remember? Yeah. Yeah, you were like almost bald. You look like Caillou. <laughs> Do you remember Caillou? No. You don't remember Caillou? No. And what you guys are gonna see me do here after the taper, or after I finish using the clippers on the taper, is I'm gonna grab some thinning shears and just try to work in the area where, uh, where the, the bulk of that transition is. See right here? 
I'm just gonna try to smoothen it out just a little bit to make that transition a little bit cleaner. Yeah. And what you wanna do here is you wanna make sure that you get the hairs behind the ears. Like I even realized like once I was done, like it was still a little bit dark behind his ear. I could have smoothened it out a little more, but you know, I'm not perfect, so it is what it is. But. Still pretty smooth. Still pretty smooth? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And right here, we're gonna line him up. So when I do lineups, I like to start in the same place pretty much every time. I like to start in the nape area, work my way around the ear, then do the, uh, the C cup, the vertical bar, all that stuff, and then work my way to the front, and then do the same thing on the other side, and then meet, meet it in the middle with his, with his front hairline. So you see, I'm just kinda tap it right there. I'm not making my way all the way across. I'm just kind of doing what is in front of me. You don't want to be, uh, you know, when you're doing haircuts, when you're doing a fade, when you're doing a lineup, you don't want to be reaching all the way around the head. You either want to turn the chair or just cut what is directly in front of you. That's going to allow you to get, you know, the most accurate result. Because if you're reaching all the way around somebody's head to, to do a fade or to do a lineup, you're, you can't really see what you're doing. So it's best just to turn the chair or, or move your body if you, if you need to. I, I like standing in the same spot when I cut though. Are my trimmers too sharp? Like the, these gold ones right here, are they too sharp for you? Um, no, cause I stay still a lot. Oh, so that, is that a key to not getting hurt with the trimmer is just staying still while you get your hair cut? Yes, it nice. is. Nice, I like that. I learned that a long time ago yeah. when I got cut in the ear. Who, I cut you? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean okay. to cut you. But you do a very good job of sitting still. I cut a lot of kids. I even cut adults who have a real problem sitting still during a haircut, but you do a great job. So right here, I'm doing clipper over comb because I, I thought I was going to end up leaving the, the length on top and I just wanted to kind of um, knock some off the sides and, and blend, it, blend it in a little bit with clipper over comb. But then as I was going through, I just realized like, man, like this, this looks a mess and his mom's not gonna be happy with all this long hair. So we decided to go through and, and you know wet the hair and cut it with scissors. So really this clipper over comb is a waste of time. So now I'm, I wet the top and I'm gonna attack the top the same way you would see me attack any scissor cut. So we, we have our number three on the side, right? All I need to do is split it down the middle and match the hair on top to you know, my, my fingers, the, my, my finger length on the side, which for me is that number three. And that's gonna allow me to make sure that no hair is hanging over. It doesn't become like an undercut. Everything's gonna blend in. What does attack mean? Attack meaning like it's how I do the haircut. You know, like I, I attack the hair a certain way every time. Does that make sense? So you see, we've got our fingers pressed tightly to the head and everything that is hanging out gets cut off. So you can use this, this technique with straight hair, with curly hair, whatever. Curly hair looks really good. Curly hair, yeah, your curls look nice, man. I think they needed a trim because some of the ends were dead. So now that we trimmed it, it looks a lot nicer. And now here I just pulled everything, after we split it down the middle, I just pull everything up almost into like a mohawk and cut the hair like that. And this is the finished product. Junior, do you like your haircut? Yes, but I think, um, what was that question you asked me earlier? What, about your favorite part? Yeah. What's your favorite part? Is my favorite part is explaining Seeing different feelings in my hair. Oh, really? Nice. All right, y'all. If you guys like this video, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe. Hit the bell. Hit the bell so you can get notified when I drop new videos on the channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.